Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back for another TOS video. So after all those Chronos Gate video, we are finally back in Tower of Saviors and we are being thrown at the final 7th scene, right? And it's an ultimate stage. Right? NV is here and we are going to take down this ultimate stage using one of the achievement team which is 3 or more races. Right, so I'm going to make use of this Aether team once again. Right, uh, you can see pretty much uh, my Aether team, there's a, there are core members right that I don't really change out right basically Taji Sirs and the Chong Chi which is the J.O. Uh, joint op fire card right uh, okay so anyway the the typical card that I usually swap around is the water one which which is now being Robert right we still have a bulky 20k HP pool okay so anyway uh, coming to this first battle which is 90% HP reduction as well as 4 rounds of 2 second movement time. Right, uh, obviously you take down the 90% HP reduction, you do not want to get hit by that. Right, and then after that you can basically store on this um, this right mob. Right, if you do not have extremely poor uh, sky drop over there. Right, poor as in you can't store. And yeah, we're moving on to round 2 with um, this mod having enchanted shield um, you're gonna confuse your runes as well as uh, weathered runes generated once you start spinning right so here he'll be on CD2 once he once he appear and after he attacks he'll be on CD1 and yeah uh, CD wise for this uh, ultimate stage I would say is very forgiving because they do not actually start as CD1 uh, most of the time right so you can see here once um, Theater is ready, you just make sure you have enchanted runes, any color will do, any color of uh, enchanted will do, and then once you turn on theater, all, all runes basically will become enchanted, and you can just break through the enchanted shield for battle 2. Right, so battle 3 we have um, Kelvin the Sorcerer, right, um, if I'm not wrong the side minions actually have high defense, and what's happening is, if you defeat the center mob, uh, and you leave the side mobs alive, the side mob will basically self-destruct each dealing 10k damage right even if they do self-destruct um, uh, with me having a full hp i was still left with 80 hp right so not an issue here basically uh with surge on you can definitely burst down all of them at once so no problem moving on we have novi with um mark runes um mark, mark dark runes and hard runes to be exact right um and no recovery as well so as I mentioned just now, uh, CD of all these stages are very, very forgiving. Uh, notice Norvi will always appear at CD2. So basically you have just two turns to uh, strike him down. Right? No note that there is no recovery here. So basically um, if you get that 20k damage previously, um, yeah, you're going to have a tough time here. Okay, so anyway, moving on, battle 5 out of 7, we have um, this little um, Walter, Walter the Monk, I think. Yep, with... Um, some sort of self-destruct skill here after you reach CD <coughs> CD um, 0 or basically when he start attacking you so <coughs> in other words you have 4 turns in order to uh, 4 turns to kill off this this guy here right so notice I did a, a normal spin to kind of um, reduce his HP past half or you can actually do like a a better burst right so my, the main idea here is to um, chip off the HP as much as possible for the first spin with Sirs on and then after that turn off Sirs and you have to take it down uh, without activating your Enchantress right uh, the reason why is because there is a neutralized stage after this and you do not want your Sirs to be neutralized so turn it off before you take down this Walter the Monk and then after the neutralize you can just simply turn on your Sirs once again right so Migli here is the one that will neutralize you together with damage reflect so note that his first hp bar is actually 8 million hp so that's a very bulky hp so make sure um, to burst him down fully if not damage reflect will definitely kill you right so notice i turn on yeter because i do not want to do not want him to be alive after this uh, if i kind of miss spin right so you can see uh in fact i think yeter alone should be enough to take down uh, the first hp bar right just playing safe here Okay, so second HP bar is quite unique. It's Enchanted Tetris Shield. 
So uh, basically that Tetri ship, uh, everything you spin inside have to be enchanted. So uh, once again, the underdog, right, this jail card would be most suitable to take down second HP bar. Yeah, basically enchant everything and then just spin the Tetri shield. Easy, done. Alright, so notice uh, Compulsion is not being used at all. So I will rate this a, very, a fairly simple SM. Okay, so uh, we have Envy here. Uh, note that the hateful woman she's talking about is actually Cassandra. Alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, a full bot, um, a mark full bot as well as a Phantom. So basically, two turns for you to kill off this Envy. Alright, so what's left is basically one more Eater active as well as um, Tati. Right, so just use them. Right, it's the end of the battle. I right, know that I managed to dissolve a full board, which is nice. All right, and then uh, even though um, you didn't manage to dissolve everything on the board, don't worry. Right, equip something like a diamond craft, amulet reflection craft, explosive craft, or whatever that will remove the mark runes for you. Right, so do not be afraid if you if you leave any mark runes on the board, and when you come to this stage, because compulsion will help you clear it off. I note that um, uh, Opal or Shadow Fall and the Slime Slashing Craft does not remove Mark Runes if I'm not wrong. Right, so use either the use the Connection Pattern one, uh, Amulet or Reflection, or the Explosion Craft, uh, which is the the round the round oval shaped one. Okay, so with this Envy of the Lady down, I will rate it a rather simple SM as I've already mentioned. Right, one diamond because it's a new ultimate stage and yeah, the only achievement unlocked is three or more races. Right? The other one being Mono Light in which I think <coughs> the old Michael Lucifer should be more than enough to take down this Mono Light achievement. Right, so let's take a look at this card here, Envious Um Turn Dark Runes. A uh, turn runestones of one attribute to dark. If the number of runestones turn are fewer than the present runestones, uh, present dark runestones monster attack time is four. Which is quite underwhelming, I would say, um, for a <coughs> seven scene card, right? B SM some more. Alright, so yeah, that will be it for this video. Uh, hidden conditions uh, isn't known for me as of now, right? I'll try to update it on my page um, if I find out the hidden condition, right? And then after that, we can all go for the three star craft. Not really sure what um, what effect there is on this um, opal craft here. But we'll find out uh, uh, as soon as possible. Alright, so with this, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye bye.